This is the Deluso R4 Euro, the one on the log store, obviously. Deluso is the top of the range contemporary arm to the Hunter Stones group. They make three sizes to this stove, the R4, an R5, and an R6. And each one can come in an inset version and a freestanding version. Also, the freestanding versions can have flat or curved sides. With the R6, in the inset setup, they do a slimline inset and a standard inset. And the freestanding version, rather than it having a built-in log store, it's a freestanding unit with no log store, but they have a series of benches or you can place it just straight down on the floor. So it's got no legs? It's got no legs. Oh, <laughs> They're nicely designed and toughly built. They're also engineered towards burning wood, but you can get an add-in grate and ash pan if you want to burn a bit of coal. They're also, as standard, DEFRA approved and eco-design ready. And the outputs are respectively 4.9 kilowatts, 6.3 kilowatts for the R5, and very strangely, 6.2 kilowatts for the biggest. <laughs> I'm fairly confident, to be fair, that the outputs on the larger two models are a little bit creative so you don't have to have too big a air vent. They have both been tested as high as 13 kilowatts. So I think they've just tried to get the, the lowest nominal they could out of it. And one final thing, they obviously do them in black like this, but you can also get them in pewter. Okay, let's slice it. As always, um, get some bigger logs on the bottom. Finally, fire lighter, then a match. Oh, actually, we've now got refill matches. And as a special change, <laughs> I'm going to use some hot pink refill matches. <laughs> Which you can buy, by the way, should you need them for your uh, It's a bad advert. No, I like the authenticity of a match breaking. They do work. On this stove, there is a little catch so you can half close the door. And that's what I tend to do. Just leave it there to light. Okay, it's up to temperature in around a quarter of an hour, and at this point, I fully close off, because I'm burning wood, I fully close off the left-hand side, which is the air underneath the fuel. Probably bring this one to about halfway. Shut the door. Off to go. Off to go? Well, I might open it up a bit, actually. <laughs> That'll do. The Deluso stoves run from between 77 to 81% efficiency. And they're really capable of just running clean all the time, as you can see. Um, I have run it overnight, and you can do that with even the smallest model, though that isn't easy. The larger models will be much easier, but um, if you're a real expert or nerd, you might get the smaller model to do it. Um, if you do, get it, um, sort of shut it right down and make it blacken on the glass, it can clean itself off pretty well. So overall, it needs dry fuel um, to work best, but overall I've given this a seven out of 10. Okay, there's a lot to the controls on this appliance, so bear with me. It comes with a pair of gloves, which is great. Also has a tool which you use for opening the door and using the actual controls as well. If you have the multi-fuel kit, it will also remove the ash pan. So nicely thought out. The controversial bit is the controls because behind this panel, it is a bit nerdy. 
um, it's twists and dials and I like it I like the you know it, the character of it it's interesting yes would it be easier if there was just a flick you know flick a thing from left to right yeah but you've already got those available and this is more interesting more exciting um, and actually really effective so I've closed off the primary air, which is the air below the fuel, because I'm burning wood. We only want that for lighting. But if we then control the main air, we go from fully open to fully closed, it's immediate. It does exactly what we want. We get these beautiful floating flames. It's really, really excellent. And um, yes, these do get hot, but you know, you could control it with the gloves, I use this, actually it looks like it's going to be fiddly, it just works really well, um, and I can dial it back up, and I can, I just, I love the geekiness of it, um, uh, and the quirkiness, it's a conversation piece. The other thing that's a little odd is how you open the door. Again, use this tool, it drops in there, and if you start trying to like grab at things, or if you haven't got brilliant hand-eye coordination, to be fair, it could be a little bit fiddly. But you drop this in the front, pull it round, all the way round, and then the door opens. And even though we've got plenty of fuel in here, we've got no spillage issue with smoke. It's just behaving itself absolutely perfectly. Um, and then, same thing, you just pull it back round. If you just open the control panel, that doesn't actually open the door. Um, so it is nicely thought out. I was really happy with the economy on this stove because it's obviously a contemporary style, not built for, you know, burning all day or night. But we test fuel economy by getting the stove up to operating temperature and then burning a single net of kiln dried logs on it to see how long it will maintain operating temperature. This stove can do it for nine to 11 hours, which is a great score. Um, I could also, with really good technique, get it to run overnight. The larger models will be easier, but um, uh, this, this still gives a, a really good indication that the times when you want to go out for a few hours and have it lit when you come back, this is more than capable of it. So it's really contemporary, beautiful floating flames, but also has that fuel economy and function that you may need occasionally as well. To get the best out of this stove, you do need dry fuel. It's also a very modern, contemporary look, and that's obviously subjective. The controls also do need some hand-eye coordination, and their quirky and characterful nature will suit some, and very much not others. The various styles it comes in should cover a wide range of very contemporary spaces, and I really like the name. The really good news is this stove is controllable, interesting, unique and special. There's loads of modern looking stoves out there, but this one is interesting. It seems to me that the thing that makes perhaps some people not like it is also the thing that makes it worth the money, makes it desirable. The quirk and the dial old school nature to it is interesting and will capture some of us. I mean, it's caught me. Um, like if you imagine a, a manual gearbox or an old kickstart motorbike, we naturally run to things that are slick and easy, auto and uh, all the rest of it. And once we've got it, it's a little more soulless. And, you know, perhaps the old thing with the knobs and the bells and the whistles actually has something that we're missing. This stove has all the modern tricks, but it retains that characterful old school nature that's so easy to take for granted. It's a fantastic conversation piece. It's a great backup and focal point. It's also got some function to back it up as well. I mean, if you're anything like me, those things might be worth looking for.